Well, the EU has, has several concerns about its relationship with China. Uh, the most important one is trade, because the combined trade between the two entities, the EU and the China, came in 2022 to about 850 billion euros worth of trade, imports and exports. But of that, there was a, the European Union ran a trade deficit with China of 400 billion euros. So the EU is very concerned at the lack of China, Chinese openness in its markets. It thinks that China is playing unfairly. It subsidizes its own exports too easily. So it gets too, too much into the EU market and it creates barriers to prevent European companies exporting to China. So one of the key European demands is opening Chinese markets. That's what the, China, the Europeans are asking for today. The other, the other key important thing the Europeans are going to say is helping Russia. China gives a lot of help to Russia indirectly, through the, not through providing weapons so much as providing so-called dual-use equipment that can be used in weapons or components for weapons. And the Europeans are quite unhappy about this, so they'll be asking the Chinese to rein back some of their exports to Russia, which helped the Russian war effort in Ukraine. Those are two, two demands the Europeans have, but the, the Chinese have their own demands, of course. From the Chinese perspective, to, to what degree do you think uh, Italy, and a couple of sources have actually confirmed this to CNBC now, uh, their decision to pull out of the Belt and Road Initiative, to what extent do you think that is going to potentially overshadow some of these talks? I don't think we'll overshadow the talks because the Italians have been saying to people for months they're going to do this. And it's, no, it's not any surprise at all. It's not really news that Italy is pulling out of the Belt and Road Initiative. Um, but the, the Chinese tend to view that the Europe, Europe relationship through the perspective of their relationship with the United States. The Chinese are obsessed with the US and how powerful it is and how the US, as they see it, is opposed to it and trying to bash it and bully it and push it around. And so they, they see the Europeans as potentially potential partners in a multipolar world in which the US doesn't call all the shots. So the Chinese are very keen to pull the Europeans away from the US, which is why they do keep on trying to do deals with the Europeans and trying to persuade the Europeans to do things that the US doesn't want them to do. The Chinese say that Europe keeps giving in to, to American bullying. The Europeans say if we do move closer to America, and they have moved closer to America on China in the last few years, that's because we're worried about Chinese behaviour. China abuses human rights, steals intellectual property and bullies its neighbours. So the, the Europeans say it's your behaviour that's driving us towards the Americans. The Chinese say it's American bullying that's pulling you towards the Americans. There's a little bit of truth in both theses, I think. Charles.